Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss remarks on version spaces and candidate elimination algorithm. Version space is a set of hypotheses uh, which, which are consistent with the given training examples. And if you want to get that particular set of uh, consistent hypotheses, we need to use candidate elimination algorithm. I have discussed uh, these two concepts in detail in the previous uh, videos. The link for those videos is given in the description below. In this video, we will try to understand uh, what are the different uh, remarks on these uh, version space and candidate elimination algorithm. The first uh, remark on uh, candidate elimination algorithm and version space is what is the guarantee that the candidate elimination algorithm will converge to the correct hypothesis. So given a set of examples, if you apply the candidate elimination algorithm, what is the guarantee that the candidate elimination algorithm will give you the correct hypothesis. So that's the first uh, remark. How can a partially learned concepts be used to classify the new example. For example, you apply a candidate elimination algorithm and you get uh, the version space. The version space may contain one hypothesis or it may contain more. If it contains one, you can say that uh, the concepts are learned perfectly. But if it contains more than one hypothesis, the meaning is the concepts are not learned perfectly. So in such case, how can we use this particular thing to classify the new examples? That's the second one. Third one is, uh, uh, let us assume that uh, you have applied the candidate elimination algorithm and you got uh, partially learned concepts. That is, you have more than one hypothesis in the version space. Then how to get the perfect learned concept by selecting new examples? So if you want to select new examples, what is the criteria we need to use here? So that is the third one. So we try to understand each of these particular remarks one by one over here. First uh, remark is, what is the guarantee that the candidate elimination algorithm will converge to the correct hypothesis? To guarantee that uh, the algorithm will converge to correct hypothesis, some criteria should be satisfied. The first one is, there should not be any errors in the training examples. If you have some errors in the training examples, you cannot guarantee that the candidate elimination algorithm will converge to correct hypothesis. That's the reason there should not be any errors in the training examples. That's the first one. The second one is very important that is uh, there should be some hypothesis uh, which is present in the hypothesis space which correctly describes the target concept. Let us say that you have some set of hypothesis in the hypothesis space and none of the hypothesis uh, describes the given training examples then definitely it will never converge to correct hypothesis in this case. There should be some hypothesis which correctly describes the target concept in this case. Now, if these two criteria are satisfied, then you can say that the candidate elimination algorithm will definitely give you the correct hypothesis over here. The next one is uh, if S and G, that is the specific boundary and generic boundary, if both of them are same, the meaning of this one is that concept is learned exactly. That's a very important thing. If S and G are different, the meaning is uh, the version space contains more than one hypothesis. Uh, in that case, you can say that the concept is partially learned in that case. If uh, S and G contains nothing, that is, that is uh, S and G are empty, the meaning is version space is empty. Uh, it, it indicates that uh, there are no hypotheses in H which are consistent with the training examples in this case. So this can occur only when uh, there are some errors in the training examples or you can say that there is no hypothesis which correctly describe the target concept in this case. So uh, this is the first uh, uh, remark on version space uh, and candidate elimination algorithm. The second one is uh, related to this one only. Uh, for example, let us assume that S and G uh, have a single hypothesis. The meaning is what? It has learned exactly. If S and G contains uh, or S is not equivalent to G, the meaning is what? The version space contains more than one hypothesis. That is what is called as partially learned uh, concept in that case. Now, if you have a partially learned concept, how can we use those particular particular partially learned concept to classify the new example. Let us say that uh, uh, we consider enjoy spot example again. Uh, I have already solved that example. The link for that particular solution is given in the description below. After solving uh, the enjoy spot example, we got this particular uh, hypothesis. If you look at this particular hypothesis uh, or version space, we have six hypotheses. First one, second one, third one, fourth one, fifth and sixth one. So totally six hypotheses are there here. So because there are six hypotheses, we can say that it is partially learned in this case. Because it is partially learned, how can we classify the new examples? Let us say that we have been given some examples and I want to know whether a particular example will enjoy the sport or he will not enjoy. So how to 
uh, use this particular partially learned concepts to classify the new examples. If you have only one, what we can do? Let us say that this is the only hypothesis is present. What we can do? We can uh, match this particular hypothesis with the example. If it matches, we will classify it as yes. Otherwise, we will write it as no in that case. Because we have uh, more than one here, we have to check uh, this example whether it matches with these uh, hypothesis or not. If it matches, then we need to consider it as yes. If it doesn't matches, we need to consider it as no. The same thing has to be repeated for all the hypothesis. Let us take an example of first one. So first example is uh, this one. We want to know whether it is uh, classified as yes or no here. We will consider one hypothesis at a time. Uh, wherever there is que um, question mark is present, don't worry about that one because it will match with all the attribute values. We just consider the specific values over here. This sunny, warm and strong. Sunny will match here, warm will match here and strong will match here. Because there is a perfect match, you can say that this hypothesis will classify the first example as yes here. Coming back to this one, sunny is present here, strong is present, sunny and strong are present. Because there is a match, this will be classified as yes again here. Sunny and warm, sunny is present here, warm is present here, again it will be classified as yes here. And then next one, warm and strong, warm is present here, strong is present here, because there is a match, classified as yes here. Sunny is present here and warm is present here, both of them will classify this one as yes. So all the six hypotheses are classifying this example as yes. Because they are classified as yes, you can say that this one will be classified as yes over here. Now take an example of second one. Uh, in this particular second case, uh, if you look at this one, sunny is present in the hypothesis, rain is present here. Because there is no match, there is no need to look at the other one. Because there is no match at one attribute value pair also, it will be classified as no here. This will be classified as no. What about this one? Here also we have sunny, here we have rain. Uh, no match so there is it will be classified as no again sunny, uh, sunny and rain no uh, it will not match so it will be classified as no again here coming back to this one here we have warm and here we have cold here again there is no match no match means negatively classified coming back to this one sunny rainy no match and then warm and cold no match both of these also classify this one as negatively all six hypotheses are classifying this example as negatively so we can write in here there is no issue with respect to the first two. But coming back to the third one, if you see here, here sunny, warm and strong is present. Sunny, warm and light is present here. Because light will not match with uh, strong, this will be classified as negation. That's the third one will be classified as negatively by the first hypothesis. Sunny and strong is present. Sunny is present here. And here we have normal, no match. Again, it will be classified as no here. Sunny and warm is present here. Sunny and warm perfect match so classified as yes here so no in this case no in this case and yes over here coming back to the next one warm and strong warm is present here but uh, light is present here so because of that again it will be classified as no here you can say no no yes and no right now sunny and sunny perfect match classified as yes warm and warm perfect match classified as yes so one no second is no and f uh, fourth one is no so three no are there. Uh, this one is yes, this one is yes, and this one is yes. So this example is classified by these six hypotheses, something like this. Three are classifying it as yes, and three are classifying it as no here. So when you have such kind of things, you cannot say that this hypothesis will be classified as yes or no, because uh, there is an equal number of uh, hypotheses uh, in both the classes here. That's an ambiguity. Coming back to the fourth one, uh, if you look at this particular fourth one over here, I will change the color just to understand what we have. I am writing here. S uh, sunny, warm, uh, strong. Sunny will match here. Cold and warm, there is no match. So it will be classified as negative here. Sunny and strong. Uh, sunny is present here. Strong is present here. So it will match means classified as yes. Sunny and warm, no match. Sunny and uh, cold is present here. So negatively classified here. Warm and strong, uh, warm is present here, strong is, uh, warm and cold will not match, so negatively classified here. Sunny will match with sunny, uh, positively classified, warm will not match with cold, negatively classified. If you look at this particular things, two are yes and four are no here. Two are uh, yes in this case and then four are no here. 
So what is the meaning of this particular thing is uh, we cannot say 100% whether this will be classified as uh, no, but uh, if you look at the majority in this case, this particular hypothesis will be classified as no in this particular case. Here we cannot write anything because there is a ambiguity at this particular place here. The next question is uh, when we have such kind of uh, question space that is uh, partially learned uh, concepts and if you want to convert this particular partially learned concept into a perfectly learned concept that is we want only one hypothesis what we can do is we cannot go with only those particular four examples uh, to train that particular model we need to consider fifth one we need to consider sixth one and so on uh, we need to go on considering some set of uh, hypothesis uh, examples unless and until we get a strong or can say that a perfectly learned concept here that is only one hypothesis now the question is how to do that particular thing if you want to do that particular thing you have to ask yourself a question like uh, what should be the good query uh, to get the new uh, example here what what should i ask like uh, should i get randomly a particular uh, new example or i should use some logic to get that particular thing that is the thing what is the strategy i supposed to follow to get the new example so i hope you know this particular thing while solving candidate elimination algorithm we have considered four examples uh, four examples are giving you how many hypotheses six here this is a partially learned hypothesis space version space sorry so if you want to get uh, the uh, perfectly learned uh, con uh, version space you should ask the next next hypothesis that is the uh, next uh, example that's the fifth one sixth one seventh one unless and until you will get only one hypothesis in the version space here now what should be the uh, uh, strategy we need to follow that is what is the third remark in this case so one strategy what we can do here is uh, we need to select an example that is the fifth example uh, where some of the some of the uh, hypothesis in the version space how many are there six are there some of them will classify it as a positive some of them will classify it as a negative so that is what actually we need to consider here okay so if you follow this particular thing definitely uh, after selecting few uh, more examples we will come to a uh, perfectly learned what you can say that the version space in this case that is we will get only one uh, hypothesis in the version space over here so these are the different uh, remarks uh, on version space and candidate elimination algorithm i hope uh, you understood the concept if you like the video do like and uh, share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching